fires in California always seem to be scripted based on the world series, which is scripted as well. This year, it was based on the world series and Billie Eilish's song. I don't want to get too detailed on this because it's overwhelming to decode it all, but just to present the gist of things. So, Washington Nationals win the World Series on October 30th. The date is 10 30. They are based in Washington, D.C. Washington has 130 in Gematria. Right afterward, in the early morning of October 31st, at 1.40 a.m., we get a fire in San Bernardino called Hillside Fire. By the way, Washington is also 140. Hillside is 138. Nationals is 138. In fact, one news outlet says that that fire started at 1.38 a.m. Nationals is also 57, and it's 57 days after the release of Billie Eilish's song, Warning About Wildfires. World Series is also 57. Washington Nationals, 82. San Bernardino, 82. The neighborhood that was burned by the hillside fire is called North Park 121, like Revelation. Remember the Revelation riddle? Of course, there was 61 days left in the year, and the Nationals are out of Washington, D.C., the date of the hillside fire had 60 numerology, and since the fire was in San Bernardino County, San Bernardino County sums to 281, the 60th prime number. As Zach Hubbard has determined after the fact that the entire scripted world series was a tribute to the dead George Herbert Walker Bush and the Skull and Bones Secret Society. Skull is 60 as well. George Herbert Walker Bush sums to 118. That song was released with 118 days left in the year. This is too overwhelming because there is so many overlaps like the Trump impeachment drama being scripted into this as well, that it's too much for me to break it all down. It would take hours of work, so I'm just making it short. Next, we take the Kincaid fire in Northern California. This fire happened 49 days after Billie Eilish's song release. And I already pointed out how there was a, a biblical revelation riddle uh, playing into the whole thing. Revelation sums to 49. That fire started on a day, leaving 69 days in the year. World Series 69. But it did not burn the town of Geyserville until there was 68 days left in the year. Kincaid Fire, 68. It was Nationals and Astros facing off in the end. Geyserville, California, or Geyserville, CA, is 208. Nationals, Astros, when you combine the, the names of the two teams, is 208. That fire started near John Kincaid Road. It was Sonoma County's turn to burn. 
that song was released on a date 9 slash 4 or 4 slash 9 as it is written internationally. Sonoma County 49, John Kincaid 49 and 94. This was near, um, uh, the fire started near uh, a geothermal power plant called The Geysers 49. Geothermal 49. It was the wine country that was burned. Wine Country, 59, Geyserville, 59, Revelation is also 59. John Kincaid Road, when road is abbreviated, sums to 235, like Washington Nationals. There is something about the spelling of Kincaid that needs to be addressed. I don't know who exactly this John Kincaid is that the road is named after, but there is a politician from the 1800s who was a United States representative for Kentucky named John Kincaid, but the spelling is different. When Kincaid is spelled like this, it sums to 138, just like nationals. But that's not the spelling we're given. And why would some road in California be named after a Kentucky senator? Still, it's interesting that the fire did start 115 days before what would have been John Kincaid's 229th birthday. And this was the 115th World Series. Also, if we spell Kincaid fire like this, which some people have done on Twitter, we get the 208. Even hillside fire summed to 208 as well. One of the news outlets highlighted the word historic in the headline about the Kincaid fire. Historic sums to 115. Donald Trump sums to 138. Democrats set to bring impeachment inquiry out into the open on a day 138 days after Trump's birthday. Trump faced an impeachment inquiry due to a whistleblower complaint on the 103rd day of his age. Speaking of more natural disasters, notice there was a swarm of earthquake activity detected under Mount Rainier on October 28. That was a date with 77 numerology. Mount Rainier 77. Mount Rainier is a stratovolcano. Mount Rainier 107. Earthquake 107. George Bush, in tribute of whom the World Series were scripted, 107. Washington Nationals. 107. Washington, D.C. sits on the 77th meridian. Mount Rainier is in Washington State. Book of Revelation 77. Notice Mount Rainier sits on the 121st meridian. Like the word Revelation is 121. Rainier by itself sums to 115, like the 115th World Series. That's, by the way, the same day that the Getty Fire broke out in Los Angeles. Notice how Getty sums to 77. By the way, notice when you write Mount Rainier, abbreviated, it sums to 64, and there was 64 days left in the year. Well, 
A day after the World Series ended, the winds died down, and the fires ceased erupting. So, was the ritual ended at that point? The weather warfare? The use of Tesla technology to create earthquakes? This was a big intermeshed ritual that started with the Billie Eilish song, involved a scripted political theater having to do with Trump, involved the scripted World Series, and the massive wildfires that were no accident. This is a form of terrorism that we suffer from the government, with all of these not-so-natural disasters. So here is the thing. People should dread the next World Series. Who knows what they'll script for the 116th World Series? And what places in California might be slated to burn as a result? I might still be living in a forested area if it wasn't for this ritualistic bullshit having to do with World Series, Gematria, and wildfires. Next time, all they have to do is flick a laser from a UAV across the mountain behind me, and the wind will make the resultant fire come crashing down on my trailer, and I'll be lucky if I have one minute to get out. Uh, the Siberian Husky is not suited for the 100-degree summers we get here, because they are evolved to withstand sub-zero Arctic temperatures. He'd be feeling much better in the mountains. Also, he wants to chase birds, lizards, mice, and all kinds of small moving things. So, once a rattlesnake season hits in April, if a rattlesnake crawls over into his pen, he'll run over to play with it, get bit, and die. Which wouldn't be a problem in the woods, in the mountains, because snakes don't go up that high. So, what is there to do? 100,000 people need to buy up my James Grider books so we can move. But the problem is, no matter what we do, life is not going to be sustainable in the near future. It's all scripted to come crashing down as the economy will continue to worsen. Everything will be more and more expensive. And... Smart technology will be used to enslave humanity. That is, whether you can afford a house or not, whether you have a high-paying job or not. This is probably a coincidence, but the winner of Game 7 was Patrick Corbin. Patrick Corbin, 212. Kincaid Fire, 212. It was Geyserville that burned, Patrick Corbin, 139, Geyserville, 139. Geyserville has a perfect overlap with the Freemasonry.